So let's look at walk through the MapReduce code for the de-identification. Fantastic. Great, Subrat. So let's go ahead and actually see that. <clears throat> so if you look at the de-identify map reduce code, let me go ahead and open up that particular code for you. So if I go down to module 3 assignment solutions, let me, oops, let me go down to SRC in Edureka map reduce. Let me open up my de-identify.java in an editor. So let me send this to a simple tool called as edit plus. <clears throat> see over here how we have got, let me do a word wrap so that it will come in one line. So you have got a map class. This is a de-identify.java. You have got a map class. Then you have got a logic for that. Then in the main you are seeing how to work with it. Okay? There is the business logic of uh, encrypting in a class called as encrypt wherein the business logic is mentioned over here. What all jar files are needed over here? What all jar files are needed over here would be there in the lib folder, friends. So if you look at your, let me go back to the folder, <coughs> go back. If you look at your lib folder, <coughs> any additional jar files that is needed that is there in a file called as common codec hyphen 14.jar, it is already available for you. Okay, so don't worry, this is a complete example that you can try it out and you should try it out as a part of your assignment of today, okay? Let me go back. So, in this uh, de-identify code, what are we doing? We have got some logging classes. So, what is this logging classes is? Logger is basically if you want to log out something, you would need your uh, logger. Log is if you want to print out your statements to go down to some file, that is why we will be using our logger. In the map class, what do we do? We are picking up the whole record. So let's go back and see how many columns we had. We had in our data set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 columns. Okay, I need to find out whether they're using the first column or not, but I had 10 columns over here in my data set. Hey, uh, Madhur was asking me, sir, where is the files in the LMS? The files are there in the LMS in your folder. Let me go back and quickly show that to you. So you would see that it is there in your MapReduce uh, module for assignment solution. <clears throat> If you look at a module for assignment solution inside the your Edureka map reduce, you have this de-identify.java code friend. Okay? So you have this in your uh, <coughs> VM itself. Okay friend? Now let's continue. So how do I split all of these things? I split it based on comma. So I'm using a string tokenizer based on comma, okay? So <clears throat> I am putting all of that, I'm creating a array list of type integer, okay? And then what am I doing is I'm writing some sysop statement and I am going to list 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8. Okay, so those are the columns that I am uh, going to list it. You'll see it in the code as we go ahead. This is what is. So what do you mean by de-identify, guys? <coughs> I want to uh, wrap away or show all of these values as uh, encrypted fashion. I don't want to show them the actual values because I don't want people to know what is the customer telephone number, customer name, I mean the patient telephone number, patient name, his email address, his age and all that, right? So I wanted it to be hidden. So that is what we are doing in our code over here. <clears throat> Good. So then what do we do? We loop through those values. Okay, and uh, if it contains some value, you are going to encrypt it. So what is this encrypt function? This is one function which will take a string and it will encrypt the value. That's what we are doing. And after encrypting, you are again, the uh, output, whatever you are pushing is a null and you are putting in the text as the value. Okay, so encrypted data is pushed out. That is what is this logic of the code doing. 
So see here in the main class, what do we do? We set your output class as null writable. The value class is going to be text. We only have a mapper here. There is no reducer here because we are not doing any aggregation and we are only de-identifying your input data. So a lovely example where there is no uh, identifier. So when I set demo of the de-identifier program, what I expect you to do, guys, is this is the Java file. <coughs> Make sense? Cool. So please try this example, okay, so that you'll understand how the whole execution would happen, guys. Sure. So Ajay, you can create your own sample file, but then please remember the order of the parameters. The parameters should be important. Please uh, have the parameters as per the value. Exactly, Ajay. It will encrypt. Okay. Fantastic. Please do that. It will definitely do that, friends. Cool. So let me go back to my PDF. So this is what the code is all about. Okay. So now, in case if you want to get the next example, that is the weather data. So this is the location from where you can get the weather data. Okay, we are having some examples. So where, from where do I get the weather data is over here. So you can pick up this uh, weather data. Okay, good. So this is talking about the Java X security. So this is a standard code wherein using a base 64 API you can do your encryption. This is a standard code which you'll easily find it on the internet. So you are doing a cipher, you are creating a uh, key over here, and then you are whatever value that you are encrypting, string that you want to encrypt, you are encrypting it as per the byte array key. 